Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next empties video. I'm really bad at keeping track of what number video I'm on, so we're, I'm not even going to try. I'll just put it in the title. But I try to do these whenever, like, my basket or my drawer gets too full. I have a drawer, like, in my, um, it's not in my Alex drawers. I have a drawer underneath my desk that I really can't reach, so that's kind of where I throw all my empties. And then once every month or so, see if it's full, empty it out, and then talk about all of them. I am looking a bit extra. So I put on this, uh, like scarf headband kind of thing today. I really wanted to match it. I don't know why. So this is orange and green. So orange and green today. I don't know. I was feeling it. Thought it looked cute. Ran with it. So I have a ton of empties. I've got a good mix here. I've got actually a lot of foundation empties because I've been going through the foundations that I stopped using like last summer as summer is now coming up and I've actually finished up a couple of those. I've got some skincare. I've got some hair care. I've got some fragrance. I've got a little bit of everything. So if you want to see the rest of my empties videos, I'll throw that playlist up in the cards. Otherwise, let's jump into this. Okay, so first I'll start with something that I have like literally every empties video and that is my makeup wipes. I have one pack from Simple. These are the Simple Sensitive Skin Kind to Skin Cleansing Wipes. I'm not a huge fan of these. I got these as a gift from a family member as I was kind of in between makeup wipes at the time and I wasn't able to get to Costco to get my favorite ones, which will be next. These aren't my favorite. They're not horrible, but I, I know ones that are better. So I used them up, but I wouldn't really rebuy these on my own if I had the option. We now have a bajillion of my favorite makeup wipe. <laughs> These are all the same, but different sizes of the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And these are just like the regular blue packaging. I've got a couple of the full size packets, which are 25. And then I've got a bunch of the uh, travel size ones, just because I love buying these from Costco. You can get a full box, which comes with, I think, four full sized and then two travel sized ones. So you get a little bit of everything in those boxes. They're really affordable. And that's kind of why I just go through them so quickly. I use these every night to take off my makeup before I wash my face and get ready for bed. I also use these for just cleaning up like my makeup area. I use this whenever I mix foundation on a palette and then I clean the palette off. I'll use one of these. These are just like my go-to. They're just so good. I love them. So we got one, two, three of the full sizes and we have one, two, three, four of the travel sizes. From there, let's move on to like some body care items. So I've got two, I've got a fragrance and then I've got a deodorant. So the fragrance that I just ran out of, this is actually from Avon and this is their Haiku fragrance line. They've got three perfumes in this line. One is green, one is pink, and one is blue. This is the blue one and it's called Reflection. And this one has a really nice, light, like, um, cotton kind of scent to it, which I find really nice for, like, the spring and for early summer. So I've been using this one for a while. I actually just repurchased it, and it's, like, right up here. Can you see, like, the little blue spot right there? It's this one. So I rebought it after I finished this one up. These are, it's, a, it's around 20 bucks for this and then a lotion. So you get a full size fragrance and a full size lotion for $20. So if you split that, it's 10 bucks each. Incredibly affordable. This lasts me at least two and a half, three months of daily use for a perfume. So I find it worth it. I love the scent. It works really well with me and my body chemistry. And it's just basically like my go-to everyday scent. I do have some more expensive or different scents that I like to use for like special occasions but for like my everyday like work go-to scent this one next I have a deodorant empty and this is actually from Old Spice and this is their amber with black currant scent I purchased this because the Taylor gave me an awesome recommendation not personally of course it's in one of her videos duh <laughs> but she recommended this but unfortunately like I think they discontinued this so you can't really find it in store anymore. But she did mention that it was available on Amazon, so I purchased a nine pack off of Amazon. So this is the first of the nine that I've completely run through. I really like this. It smells really good. It's a nice fresh scent and it helps in the heat. I tend to sweat a lot and I tend to have to walk a mile in the heat to get to my train station. And then I have to sit on a couple of packed sweaty trains full of other sweaty people to get to work. And this just works really well. I feel like once it gets to like 
over 100 degrees or like 90 degrees I'm gonna start keeping one of these at work as well because I do have quite a couple in like my little container back here but I just I love the scent and it just works really well for me and I'm glad I got that recommendation let's next move on to the one hair care product I have in here and this is a like hair mask from Shea Moisture this is the strengthen and restore treatment mask with Shea butter peppermint and apple cider vinegar this is my favorite affordable deep conditioning mask this is the one that actually rivals my favorite from Diva Curl. This is about $10. I got it at Target and I counted. This lasted me just about three and a half full deep conditioning treatments. And I use this every Sunday. So that's about a month of use from this $10 product. Just like the um, Diva Curl version, this smells a lot like Play-Doh not sure why it smells like play-doh and it just it worked so well i've tried a couple of other shea moisture products for deep conditioning and they haven't worked as well this is my absolute favorite so far and the only thing keeping me from repurchasing this right now is that i actually have the diva Cole mask that i'm working my way through and then i have two other masks from shea moisture that aren't working as spectacularly but i'm still going to use those up before i go and purchase another one but so far, this is my favorite affordable deep conditioning mask. Again, it's from Shea Moisture and it's the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Treatment Mask. Let's scoot on over to skincare because I only have a couple of products here before we get into like all the makeup products that I have. So the first product that I have is a moisturizer and this is from Clinique. This is my favorite well, higher end moisturizer. This is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I say I've been looking for a dupe for this, but unfortunately all the good recommendations that I've been getting are for drugstore products that are almost the same price as this. This is about $28 for the bottle. A lot of the recommendations I've been getting for drugstore products have been around the $20 mark where like if I'm gonna buy that I might as well just spend the extra eight dollars and get this that I know works so well for me and is so moisturizing and awesome so as much as I want to find something else I just keep going back to this one what can I say it works really well it's a big container and I love the pump and I can scrape everything out of it it lasts me a long time I feel like I'm gonna keep going back to this one next I have an empty from the ordinary which actually Yes, this is actually the ordinary because because I cut this open and I couldn't really see the title. So this is their natural moisturizing factors plus HA surface hydration formula. This is something I, tr I tried to use to replace my vitamin C serum in the morning, but this was way too thick and not that moisturizing. It, it really wasn't good for my skincare routine. I did use the entire product up. It was affordable, but it's not something I would repurchase or reach for again in my morning skincare routine because it was really thick. It really pulled at my skin and I didn't get the amount of moisture out of it that I, I really wanted or needed. Next, I have another product from The Ordinary, and this is something that I've used up quite a few products and bottles of already. This is their 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, and I use this every night to mix in with my moisturizer, that Clinique moisturizer. And it's just worked wonders at helping lighten up like my redness and my dark spots. And it's really moisturizing. It gives me a really nice glow and it's a really great overnight just moisturization like treatment. Ah, I have literally three backups right here of this product. I use it every day. It's like $8. You can even get it on Sephora.com right now, which is awesome. Like. I can't say enough nice things about this product. Next, I have a mini product from Mario Badescu, and this is their facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. I did pick up a couple of these minis before I bought a couple of the full-size ones, and they're awesome. I use them every morning and every night in my skincare routine, and I like to spray them on just before I put on um, my moisturizer or whatever serum I'm using for that day. And uh, these are great. They're also great if you want to throw the mini one in your bag or in your purse and just spritz up to do like a touch up throughout the day and give you just like a little bit of refreshment because it doesn't really affect your makeup, but it does kind of go through the powders and the product and give you a nice refreshing feel. I haven't done that because as I'm getting more into summer and as I'm sweating a bit more, I really do need to reach for more matte products and more touch up products but this is something great to keep on hand. On to the makeup empties. The first empty I have is from e.l.f. and this is the Poreless Putty Primer. Finally finished this one up because I 
was afraid of running out of it because it was sold out for so long. I was able to purchase some backups of this product, so I did finish this one up. So this is the first one that I have finished. This one worked better for me than the Tatcha one. It's just, ugh, it's awesome. It's a great primer. I am interested to see how it works for me in the summer as I do tend to get more oily and more sweaty. So you'll see how that goes, but for now, this is one of my favorite affordable primers of all time. Next, we have some setting sprays, and one I haven't really been that interested in or impressed by is from Wet n Wild. I do love their the white bottle ones that come in like rose and cucumber. Those setting sprays are great, but this matte setting spray, it's not the best. So it's just called the Photo Focus Matte, and it, it doesn't work that well. It it's kind of a splotchy sprayer. The sprayer was actually so bad I transferred this into another bottle in order to use it up and it didn't work that well. Uh, I think there are other better matte setting sprays on the market even in the drugstore. I'm currently about to try out the Milani matte setting spray as it's getting hotter so I'll let you know my thoughts on that one but for right now I would just say stay away from this one. The next setting spray I have is from Catrice, and this is the Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Spray. I actually originally bought one of these thinking it was the glowy one that the Taylor kept talking about, but it wasn't. <laughs> this is a different one. This is kind of on the same bar as the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This one, it does have a great sprayer. It's not going to make your makeup last any longer than it would on its own, but it would give you a nice melting effect if you've got a lot of powders on. Um, but it's not going to extend the life of your makeup at all. So use this the same way you would a, uh, a MAC Fix Plus or the Milani Make It Last Spray. Moving on to the makeup. I have two empties of a white mixer I've really been liking because I am pale as heck. Yes, they're both from LA Girl. These are the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundations in the, sh the shade White. This doesn't really affect the formula of any foundation I've been mixing it into, which is incredible, and it just lightens it up and helps me match this paleness. Uh, so I've gone through two of these, and I've already bought one more of these and one more of a different white mixer that LA Girl makes. I always get these at CVS. They're between $8.99 and $9.99, super affordable, and they also help prolong the wear and use of my foundations because I'm only using like half foundation and half mixer right now. Let's move into the foundations I finished up. I actually have three foundation empties in here and this one it's a bit of an oldie but a goodie. This is the Born This Way foundation from one of my last project pans. I actually totally finished this one up and I was still on the fence about its performance but I was shocked by like the fact that I finished it up. <laughs> I will not rebuy this one because I do have other Too Faced foundations that I love more than this one particularly their Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I just rebought this one. This is brand new. This was my go-to foundation last summer, and I totally, like, cut this open, used up everything, like, every single drop of it last summer, so I had to buy it again. Um, so I wouldn't get this one again, knowing the formula, but I did get my full use out of it. It's totally empty. I scraped out as much of it as I could. Totally empty. My next empty will be no surprise to anyone who's been around this channel for at least a hot minute. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation in the shade 030 Sand Beige. I still have one backup of this in my drawer, and I currently have one open that I'm using right now. This is an amazing, affordable foundation, and I actually love mixing this in with other foundations that aren't as great on their own, just to get some more use out of those as well. Oh, I love this. It is so affordable. I get it at Ulta and I think I will just always have this in my collection for the rest of my life. <laughs> the last foundation I used up was actually a kind of leftover from last year where it was mostly empty that I used last summer a lot. This is from CoverGirl and this is the Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. This is in the shade 710 which is still dark for me right now. Once upon a time, the first video I did on this foundation, 725, was the perfect shade match for me, which is awesome. But this is a little dark. <laughs> I really want to rebuy this now that summer is coming up, and I want to get the lightest shade, or maybe just 710 again. I don't know if I'm going to tan at all this year. Who knows? This is an awesome foundation. It holds up through sweat, through oil. Ugh. I used to love mixing this in with Dermacol to get like an absolute full coverage look. I feel like now at this point, I don't need that kind of full coverage since I don't really have that many breakouts or scarring or redness left over. But if you do have a lot of that, mix this with Dermacol and you'll be set for the whole summer. 
All right, so some last miscellaneous empties. My first one is a little mini liner. This is from Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is a great liner. My favorite eyeliners are this one and the one from Physicians Formula. I haven't really been reaching for eyeliner as much recently. I wore it today because I went for a little bit more of a dramatic look, but in my day-to-day -day life, I'm not reaching for a liquid black liner, but when I do, this one was awesome. This is always included in the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, so if you ever want to try this or pick it up, I would wait for one of those sales, get it half off at 11 bucks, because I think it's a bit overpriced at like the 22 for the full sized. If you want a nice good liquid liner recommendation, pick up the Physician's Formula Eye Booster. Make sure it's in blackest black and not just black because black is like gray. Blackest black is actually black. Just info. Last but not least, this one is a little bit sad because it wasn't a, a full a actual empty. It was like more of a dry out empty. And this is one of my mini Stila glitter and glows that I got in one of my first sets. And this is in the shade Kitten Karma. And this actually totally dried out on me. The other ones that I have in that set aren't dried out. So I wonder if maybe this one just didn't close all the way, but I can't get any more use out of this, unfortunately, because everything in the tube is dried out. I adore the Stila Glitter in Glows, especially the minis, because you can try out a few different shades, really get more use out of them. But if there's a shade that you really like, I think the full sizes are 100% worth it. And I still have about like five full sizes and then like three or four more minis in my collection because they're awesome. So those are all of my empties for this time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what's the last product that you finished up and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.